Well, we're at the point of putting the intake manifold on. <clears throat> I've just got the gaskets on there, and then if we sit the intake on, and you look there, you can see there's still a small gap, but the ceiling surfaces are both looking like it's going to pull down sweet. So I'll just fill that up with some some Blue Max or Grey Max or whatever it is you want to use. What have I got here? Permatex Ultra Blue. Should be good enough to do what I need it to do. Where's that going to sit? Right, oh, so as you can see, I just laid like a bead across the top. There should be no real pressure there unless you've got hell blow by on your motor. And you got don't have a blocked breather on your rocker cover. Let's see. This one there. Boom, and that should should seal it up. Now I'll just throw all of my bolts in. None of these really need any sealant because none of them go into a water jacket or anything. So just a bit of lubricant and drop them in. Well, that's that pulled down. I'll basically do it the same thing. Start on the inside and work around. I don't know if you remember. Um, when I put the intake manifold on that old girl, I was talking about this step notch. We'll see how on the newer ones they do it, uh, do it factory. And um, well, just a brief rundown is I watched a video on David Freiberger, the old editor of Hot Rod, and that do a dyno comparison of when it's fully sealed. Um, to having this notch, and that notch made, well not significantly more, but a noticeable amount more power and more torque through the whole rev range. Yeah. Right, I don't know if you can, how good you can see it on this here, but I don't know if you can see the roller, how it's sitting to the outside of the actual valve. So when it pushes down on the valve, it's always going to be rolling on the outer edge. So, if you can yeah, so what I'd done was I ordered shorter push rods Get it in the cup. There we go. Obviously, that's not super correct flash there, but you get the idea. And see how with the shorter push rod, it's brought it back more central with the valve so it should give less issues if you really get it up there in the rev range and everything just so you can see them side by side it doesn't take much there's something to sit them on yeah as you can see it's not much difference, it's um, 
those are 7.4 and these ones are 7.350 yeah but always try and make sure you got your valve geometry set right otherwise it'll just give you dramas down the track just a quick thing to keep in mind if you do have to order new push rods that you get the right ends to suit and if you're running guide plates you make sure your push rods are compatible with it because if not the constant rubbing up and down if it's not running quite right can just rub rub the wall right away and you'll have a failure just thought I'd throw that in there righto doing the valves so I've got this one on top dead centre so the way I do it is I'll just wriggle it up and down until there's no movement and then I'll go a quarter turn from there some people will rotate it in their fingers until it gets stiff where there's resistance and then go the quarter turn but yeah, I just like to wriggle up and down that's it there I'll go the quarter turn and snug down the lock screw just to double check things when you're all done you can go along and see all your lock and screws see if they're all about the same sort of depth or even just look at them in a plane and if you see on this side you can see how this one's higher so I must have stuffed something up I think I must have put it on upside down so let's take a look here Yeah, that's exactly what I did. So make sure your mind's on the job. See how it's rounded on this end? If I roll that around, it's got the flattened out section for your adjuster nut. Yeah. That could have been bad, but that's why you double check these things because you just never know. Mind's thinking about other stuff and it could have been a costly exercise had I been cruising down the road and spatter right -o. well I'll wind that back over redo that one and we should be good so I was hunting gum tree and found a new sump with the pickup and everything but as you can see the tab that holds the pickup in place is broken. So I'm just going to have to tack that on. Here's the sump, a windage tray, and everything should work out good. So I'll just mock this up, cover it all up with an old t shirt and everything, and just get a tack on it take it off and weld it all up let's bolt that down tack yeah so we just drop the gaskets on I always put a little bit of sealant on the corners because they're always trouble areas got our brace welded back up We will drop our hand on If I can find the hole.
Just test fitting the carb, making sure the linkages aren't going to hit on the manifold, which is going to be all sweet. So we'll take that off, Just sit that down. You may notice I put some studs in the manifold as it's screwing into aluminium. It just wears out quick so I just put the studs in and you just leave them in you don't have to worry about it you just undo the nut and should be all sweet let's find all these parts grab all the washers I'll nip that down in a sec. So we've got some new tapper cover gaskets. I'm not sure what the go is with the other holes at the top. And I picked these bad boys up for 50 bucks. Way too shiny for what for what I like, but anyway, they're cheap. So What's going on there? No, right, she's not sitting up in there. There we go. Much better. How's this one? There we go. Get out all the little one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, only five. <clears throat> Might have to raid some of my other bits and pieces from other motors. Well, the big mob I thought I had, I don't have. So I'll just use the ones I got for the bottom sides of the tapper covers. And then for the top side, I'll just use just the nut and washer. Yeah. It's a bugger when you think you got the stuff and you go looking and you can't find it. Well, there we have that all buttoned up pretty well. I still got to go pick up the thermostat housing and a, the short water pump and the fuel pump I'll be using off this old girl. So <clears throat> I'll touch on, I won't show the motor replacement, the engine replacement, um, just because it's boring and everyone knows how to do that. But I will touch on it again um, probably in one of the videos of that old girl just when I've got it in the car running and where is it also picked up this old banger old Muncie to go in that and I don't know if you noticed the new wheels the 15 by 10s and the 15 by 8s 
she's going to be a cool bit of gear once she's going. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'll just throw this online and give you something. And I'm just waiting for a mate to give us a hand to get the um, parts car in to get the floor ready for that. So hopefully I'll get that in in the next couple of days and get a couple of videos on stripping it down and get back onto that old girl. Sorry it's taking so long but eh, sometimes life gets in the way. Right, catches.